Hello guys, welcome to Tech Design. Hope everyone is doing great. So in this tutorial, I have taken this model as a practice example. So we am going to explain how we can make this uh, uh, model using a drawing here. So we have a drawing here. So this is our drawing. So as you can see, if you want, you can just take a screenshot of this and we will use all the dimensions and we will make a, this model. So let's get started. So we'll go to new file. So I'm going to hit a new file and uh, let me create a new file with the same uh, you know uh, part name so i'll just click ok so this will take you to you know 3d workbench so what i will do is i will just make a simple sketch on the on the base plane so i'll just go to plane and select this plane and i'll just click ok so now as you can see here the drawing uh, there are two views here all the dimensions were given in these two you know uh, views so let us uh, you know start creating this so as you can see here we have you know top view here and there is an, a section of aa is taken over here and the dimension is going given over here so we are going to do this uh, sketch now so complete sketch i'm just going to do it and when you are doing a sketch always prefer for uh, circles so whenever we have multiple circles just create those circles so depending on those circles it will make easy for you to you know uh, complete the sketch so what i'll do is i'll just as you can see here uh, we have uh, two uh, you know uh, circles here one is 4.5 mm and uh, 8 mm diameter and also 16 mm diameter so which is a radius of 8 which is nothing but diameter of 16 so 4.5 8 and 16 so i'm going to create those uh, lines so um, circles so first is 4.5 and here as well 4.5 and here as well 4.5 so now uh, with 8 diameter so we'll make it concentric and here as well and here as well okay so now 16 diameter so make it concentric for this as well okay now let me fit this so okay so now what I will do is uh, simple as you can see here uh, this circle is lying on this axis so let us make that now go to geometric constraint and point on a curve so this center point should be on this line okay so now we also have you know uh, construction lines here so you can see a uh, dashed lines so this is 90 uh, diameter and as well as 70 diameter so let us draw those two as well so one is 70 and another one is 90 so it should start from this center okay so now as you can see here on the 70 diameter uh, circle uh, these all these three circles are lying so let us make point on a curve so sir, hit geometric constraint and point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve this point should lie on this curve as well as this point so this point should lie on this curve what the hell okay so the center point should lie on this curve okay so now uh, how to make these two construction lines so right click and make it as a construction right click and make it as a construction so these two are uh, construction lines which will not be used for any other feature for example extrude and revolve so these will be appearing only in a sketcher so once you finish a sketch these uh, you know curves will not be uh, visible to you okay so now as you can see here um, uh, we have an uh, arc of a radius 30 here so let us draw the, that one as well so let's go to you can also see this arc which is starting from this point uh, this point is lying on this axis as well as this circle so we just need to create that now so i'm just going to create this arc okay now what i will do is i'll just make constraints so geometric constraints so point on curve so this point should be on this curve also this point should lie on this curve okay so let me give a dimension for this so this is 30 radius so as you can see here this is 30 day radius so now i'm going to draw a construction line so from this point to this point and this point to this point as well from here so i want to make this as uh, construction lines so we can make it like this 
okay so now as you can see here there are three uh, you know circles uh, which is uh, a span of 360 degree so we just need to give 120 degree between each uh, circles so angular dimension so between this to this it will be 120 as well as from this to this it will be 120 so if these two are 120 then again this will also be 120 you don't need to provide it if you provide i think it will be you know over constraint so we don't need to give this by default this will be 120 and now as you can see uh, there is an arc here uh, which is a fixed arc and we just need to make you know a uh, line here which is uh, tangent between these two circles so go to a uh, line and draw a simple line with the holding l alt so alt will pro, you know uh, disable all the geometric constraints so now hit geometric constraint go to tangency this curve should also be tangent to this and also this line should tangent to this okay same thing these two and as well as these two okay now i think these curves has moved somewhere else just move it uh, over here and the same way i'm going to do it on the other side as well now as you can see here this is the curve okay let me extend this hit e to extend okay so now we need to trim the extra portion so these are the extra portion that we just don't need okay yeah have trimmed all the extra portions and just click close okay now uh, we got this you know uh, curve on the one side so we just need that in the other side as well so we'll use a pattern curve so for that i'll just go to pattern curve here and it should be in a circular so i'm going to select these three and uh, we have a span of 360 degree and count we need is three so this is one two and three so the point of uh, you know rotation will be this and i'll just click ok so we already discussed pattern curves how we can make a circular pattern and uh, uh, other patterns so if you have not checked that video please go to my channel and check it out okay so now as you can see we have done a simple uh, you know sketch and also we have you know a cut out here in the center so we just need to make that uh, cut out as well so let us go into sketcher we have two circles at the center you can see 22 diameter and uh, one more is uh, you can see the wall depth wall uh, you know dimension which is of 3 mm so which is nothing but uh, 22 minus 3 minus 3 so first we'll draw a 22 diameter circle okay so now 22 minus 3 minus 3 hit enter and make it here okay so now as you can see here we have a slots inside so we just need to create a you know sketch for this slot as well so as you can see here this slot has come up until uh, there is a wall between the you know uh, this 8 mm diameter circle and a 3 mm uh, wall so we just need to create that circle first so we'll just go to circle here and from this point it should be 8 plus 3 plus 3 and just click ok okay so now i will draw a line here so this is my line okay these two lines should be you know uh, parallel so create a parallelism and uh, just extend this until it touches this uh, inner circle okay and now also extend this until the here as well so now we have to make a you know um, pattern so i'll just go to geometric you know pattern here pattern curve so what i'll do is i'll just select a single curve so these are my single curves okay it should be from this point so now as you can see in all the way everywhere it is created and you can just click ok let me delete this you can just you know trim this off okay so once you delete this side everywhere it will be deleted you can just close it if you want you can delete this circle as well so this is also not required so now what we can do is we'll just finish the sketch i think uh, everything is done here 
uh, we don't have anything left over here to do so we can just finish the sketch now so i'll just finish the sketch and now we have to make an extrude so go to extrude here and keep it as 1 mm okay and connected curves let me keep it as single curve and stop at intersection so let me select the outer uh, you know profile okay so we have selected an out outer profile and also this circle i'm going to select and now i want to make this extrude so what is the extrude value as you can see here it is 22 mm so let me give 0 here and 22 here and it should be none click ok ok so now what I have to do is I will just go to sketcher environment on uh, this plane because we just need this uh, you know uh, edge so I am going to draw a simple you know profile here okay so this profile i'm drawing now so whatever we have here this is an angled profile so which is of 22 mm diameter and uh, it is 5.2 mm from this edge so let us draw that now so what i'll do is i'll just trim this extra lines and there is a dimension of 5.2 okay and it should we'll just create one uh, uh, point here which is an intersection point so this is my intersection point i'll select this curve and i'll just click ok so now as you can see there is a point here so this two point should lie so this point should lie on this the created point okay so now what we have is we have a dimension angular dimension here and with this axis it is 22 mm 22 uh, you know degrees and also we have a dimension here between this to this it is 11 mm because we have a 22 mm diameter of uh, you know circle here which is nothing but this angle is uh, 11 this dimension is 11 so now we'll just close this so i'm going to close this with the drawing here Okay, so let me you know revolve this. So I'm going to revolve this, and let me select these curves. Okay, so this I'm going to revolve. So vector is the top direction, and the point should be at the center, and it should be subtracted from the body. And click OK. So now, as you can see here, this is our model. So we just don't need this, uh, you know, uh, sketch. We'll just hide this and now we have to extrude you know remove the material from this set so we'll just go to extrude and uh, let me select a curves so these are the curves keep it as 1 mm until we select this you can just remove from one side and you can also make a pattern on the other side as well so let me create that as well now so i'll just show you how we can do so as you can see here from after 3 mm there is a cutout so we just need to leave 3 mm uh, in the starting so we can just leave 3 mm and then we can just give whatever the like you know dimension we want okay and it should be subtracted from the body and we can just click ok so now as you can see here it is subtracted so the same you know extrude we have to make you know mirror uh, sorry um, pattern so we'll just go to more here and pattern feature so we are looking for a pattern feature so if it is not available here go to menu insert associative copy and pattern feature okay so this feature i'm going to pattern and it should be circular pattern and my vector will be along top direction and my point will be this point and we need three quantities with 360 mm of span okay just click okay 
so now as you can see here it is removed on the other side instead of creating three you know uh, sketches here we can just make it in a single as well so now we have uh, we have these circles so we have we have to remove this hole make these holes so let me do that now so whatever a small hole we have it should be removed completely okay sorry guys finish we have to select a small circle here so these are the small circles and it should be removed okay and also now uh, as you can see here whatever the larger hole diameter 8 hole will start from 4 mm so we'll just go to extrude now and these things okay this this should start from uh, 4 so let me give 4 here and you can just click ok so now as you can see here our um, you know uh, model is almost ready so what we can do is we are left with only this um, edge blends so everywhere it is the radius of 1 so let us give this that edge blend now so go to edge blend here and start selecting this it should be 1 mm okay so it is it has been given for all the you know uh, edges so let us give it not the edges so first we have to give this uh, edge on all the four sides try to give uh, you know edge blends for all the you know uh, whatever the edge we have so if it is showing any error you just need to select them uh, select them properly okay hmm. apply now here as well we have to provide okay so now we can give on the top side as well now so let us select this so if you select this everything will select now because it has a tangency okay let me unselect this and first we can just give these three and later we can go just give this okay and also we have some uh, edge blend for this as well so let's go to edge blend here and select these three click ok ok i think our uh, model is ready uh, everything whatever we have shown they have shown here everything is done ok guys so this is how we can do this uh, practice example guys so if you have any doubt and concerns please uh, comment in the section below so i will try to answer thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button